People are confused on just how much rest they should have in between sets. Well, that of course depends on what exercise you're doing. Whether you're doing a compound movement or whether you're doing what I class as a skilled exercise. A compound movement will be like a deadlift, a bench press. A skilled exercise will be an arm curl, a tricep pull down. The reason why I would class that as a skilled exercise, keep going five more, is because there are many different grips, many different angles that you can use. So when training biceps, stand in front of your training partner. When he's done, you go straight in. How to get big fucking arms quickly. Well, give yourself an extra stretch and give yourself that added contraction. How do you do that? Well, as you come down, lock your arms out. Now watch my wrists. See how my wrists twist backwards? That's stretching my fucking biceps as much as it possibly can. Then when you come up, roll your wrist. It's not just there. Roll them, see that? Snap that wrist at the top. See that? Snap that wrist at the top. Roll it into your throat. Come down, twist your wrist back. Come up, roll them into your throat. Throw some negatives in there. What is a negative? You fight the weight on the way down. Now, you could do 10 full reps, added stretch, extra contraction, and then five negatives. That in itself is going to be more than enough. You've only got to do three to four sets of that. Push yourself beyond any limits that you thought you had. That is how you get big fucking arms. Quickly. I've trained a baby.